The California Earthquake Authority was created in response to the earthquake in Northridge. Given the damage from the 1994 Northridge earthquake, it's surprising that only about 13% of California homeowners have earthquake insurance. Now the state's largest earthquake insurance carrier, the nonprofit California Earthquake Authority, is raising its rates starting January 1st by 6.8% on average. Some people are going to get a decrease and some people are going to get potentially 12%. Who knows? It just depends. That's that's what the overall state average is. Carl Sussman is an independent insurance agency broker. He says the reason for the rate increase is more expensive construction costs. Cost to, of reconstruction of her homes has been going up every year, not just with inflation, but they've been going up pretty dramatically since 2020. The good news is you can still get earthquake insurance in California from a number of different carriers, unlike wildfire insurance, which is hard to find right now. If your rate does come in from the California Earthquake Authority and you think that it's too high, you can definitely shop around or you can also look to change the deductible that you have on the policy as well to save some money. The Earthquake Authority does offer rate discounts for retrofitting your home. If your house was built before 1980, is wood-framed construction and is on a raised foundation. Discounts are also available for retrofitted mobile homes if it has an earthquake-resistant bracing system and an approved foundation. Homeowners also have the option of dropping earthquake insurance altogether. It's always surprised me because we do have earthquakes here for sure. But at this point, they are not mandating earthquake insurance for, for most loans that I'm aware of. But Sussman says before you drop your earthquake insurance shop around, you might be surprised at the options that are still available. David Gottfordson, CBS 8.